Hey guys, a political analyst, Augustine Okoira, has made a bold statement about the Southern Nigerians' potential for growth and development. In an interview with AIT, Augustine has certain that if the Southeast is challenged to work hard and enhance its resources, it has the potential to suppress even economic giants like China. He suggested that Edo and Delta states, which were historically part of the Midwest region, could function effectively under one governor. He also highlighted the vast size of Niger Delta, which exceeds the entire southeastern Nigeria in landmass and proposed merging state in the southeast to boost productivity. According to him, Edo and Delta do not need two governors. If they were Midwest, they don't need two, okay? They don't need um, governors. The entire southeast is, is smaller in terms of size, landmass, than Niger Delta. Niger Delta is bigger than the entire southeast. If you are looking at landmass, so they are, they will even be more productive if they merge and give it to the southeast. If you give them the challenge to go back to Enugu and work very hard, they will overturn Taiwan. They will overturn uh, China. Okay. If the thieves that has been ruling in the East were serious, provided the necessary infrastructure needed for economic growth by now, East would have been far more developed than most states in Nigeria. But their governors are Abuja boys, wasting the state resources in hotels or in the name of executive governors. The problem of this country is that the entire country is afraid of Igbos, but the Igbos want to prove that giving them chance and support, and support, they will make this country great. When one is talking of Igbo, nobody in a hurry should forget that Igbo brought Nigerians. Igbo brought Nigerians into, the, into this quagmire. Igbo in power, Zik with his in style with Tafawa Balowa, jail the oppression, a coup by power tozo, young military men led by Ibo too, then Agu Ronson and his barrister uh, Wabuze doctored and changed Nigeria regional constitution constitutions, okay, to unitary when everybody has to come. To the center for crumbs, center coup, counter coup, and the war, all accused by Igbo. Then I ask which Igbo who love power and don't know how to manage and then bring, you know, e the egoist. It is still clear till today. Now, wow, just to acquire without caring if they are stepping on others' toes. Around me here, Igbos of Enugu mostly are the are the corporates for Igbo to be respected. They they must chew greed and pride. Okay, these are reactions from Nigerians. I don't really get what the person is trying to say. Enough region has its potential. The Southwest is like Japan. They will produce quality products and. Uh, Life, <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, well, I understand what people are trying to say here. Uh, we understand the Igbos are very creative people. You understand? They make out something from nothing. So what the man is trying to say, that if Igbos were given the opportunity, they would turn their region, you know, to Japan. I want to shock you too that this today somebody made a statement 
Okay, human rights lawyer Dele Faratimi said that the current Nigerian system is not sustainable and that the revolution and problem that we destroyed President Bola Tinubu's government will come from the northern region of the country. He said this in an interview, okay, which is making rounds on social media. Faratimi said that Revolution against the suffering created by President Tinubu's government will not start in eastern Nigeria. According to him, he said an average Igbo person has learned not to depend on the government, so it is easier for them to survive on their own. He said long ago he predicted that the Nigerian revolution would start in northern Nigeria. The only reason he, 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 say, he said he said so at the time is because the north had always been the reason we could not find a common purpose to fight evil he said but now that the person in power in the presidency is not a a northerner and he is he is at you know he is not at best so a normal muslim and uh, suffering has now been fully uh Democratist, the northern street, north northern elite, has no interest in the forbearing and continuing to suffer. So why is it that all of a sudden everything they tolerated in all the years of Muhammad Buhari is no longer tolerable? So he said, I don't know how long it is going to take, but if this mess continue. The problem that we consume this government will start in the northern Nigeria. It is not going to start in the east. It might seem like nothing is going to happen, but something will definitely happen. This system is not sustainable, he said. Justifying his point in details, the RTV said you will rely, rely fine on an Igbo man. You will really find an Igbo man applying to civil service or looking for a salary job. The average ones, even the ones that went to the university, still attach themselves with somebody in the market and learn a trade. So the Igbos, you know, if given opportunity, they can do better in their region. That is just what they are trying to say. But we have corrupt politicians, not only here and there, we have corrupt politicians in the system, you understand. We have corrupt politicians in the system, even they themselves and all that. The the northern elites, uh, I beg your pardon, the southeastern elites who felt that their comfort zone right now, they will not leave it. They will fight. They will make sure that nobody comes close. You get well. I'm dropping it, here, guys. Kindly. Drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.